painless birth through hypnosis. That's what the brochure promised. Using your mind, it said, natural childbirth could be a calm, even pleasurable entree into the blissful world of motherhood. Of course, I signed up immediately for the eight-week class. I was a star student. I sat in the front of the class and watched videos of women breathing their babies through their birth canals. I followed every instruction. I massaged my perineum. <laughs> Soften it up. When a fellow classmate went into labor before the final class, our teacher reported back that she'd done the whole thing without medication and that her near silence during delivery had so impressed her attending nurses that they were referring to her as a hero goddess. I couldn't wait to be a hero goddess. After my due date came and went without a contraction, and then two more non-contraction filled weeks passed, my doctor recommended induction. We're going to induce. She warned that it could be a little intense and that most induced women, 95%, end up having an epidural to control the pain. Of course, that's because 95% of women didn't spend eight weeks learning how to breathe through their pain, because they didn't learn how to visualize their babies floating out of them like gentle waves of water. I patted my doctor's arm. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Okay. Induction day came, and we rolled into the hospital with a yoga ball, some soothing pictures of nature, and of course my MP3 player on which I would play my hypnosis lessons. The doctor broke my water, then started me on an IV drip filled with <laughs> induction sauce, and told me that the contractions would start any minute. And I started to bounce gently on my yoga ball in preparation for the first contraction, which then hit with a sensation that was so intense, the word pain doesn't begin to describe it. It needs a word that hasn't been invented yet, like credentious. That's how beyond pain it was. It was credentious. I hit the deck as spigots of sweat sprang from every pore. I guess I must have screamed out, epidural, 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 because I have a vague recollection of my husband's face opening up to say, the epidural team is coming, darling. After I'd had a moment to recover, I changed my mind. I just hadn't been prepared for that first contraction. Now that I knew what it felt like, I was sure I could handle it. And so I braced for the next contraction that I was going to manage with my breathing exercises. In, out, gentle waves. At which point the next contraction came like a tsunami and threw me off of the world. I told my husband to get the epidural team there in the next nanosecond or I was going to tear the linoleum off of the floor and eat it. Within moments, the team, there were two of them and they worked together like circus acrobats, stuck me with needles and from that point on, the delivery was a party. Well, the kind of party where people cheer when you poop on the table. That is a lot, that kind of party. So in the end, childbirth classes may not have helped me have that natural delivery. But what they did give me was two months of comfort and something to distract me from my fear of the unknown. Ooh. Also, I did get to see a video of a woman pull twin babies out of herself with her own two hands. That alone was worth the price of admission.